A lotto ticket worth $24 million was sold in the city of Marlin. News 10's John Carroll joins us now live from Marlin. So, John, please tell me that someone, anyone, has come forward and claimed this. Garth Goodwin is relearning how to do pretty much everything these days. Of those willing to reach it. So today we... All right, you are watching uh, some breaking news. This is a, obviously a press conference that President Trump is holding. You can see Vice President Mike Pence uh, standing there behind him at the podium. Uh, President Trump is saying that he is officially recognizing the city of Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Of course, this is a move that will come with uh, a lot of international talk. Uh, president Trump is the first president to recognize the city as the country's capital and is uh, a major move between the United States and Israel. Uh, Trump also saying in this press conference that he will be moving the United States Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem to make the move even more official. In your new book that's out, Bear Country, you talk a lot about how administration, particularly regions at times, interfered or you felt like they interfered with you being able to effectively do your job as president. Do you think that this Board of Regents will give her the independence that she needs to do her job? Well, I, in the book, I'm not trying to be critical. So if you've ever felt those rumblings and wondered what the heck are they doing out there, they're testing the rockets that then come right here over my shoulder. Uh, that is the very historic uh, Pad 39A. That's the same pad that launched the first man to the moon. Well, it's been just two weeks since Waco firefighter Garth Goodwin was involved in a very freak accident and left paralyzed from the chest down. His wife, Lisa, has been right by his side uh, from the very beginning, and she is joining us today at noon. Lisa, thanks for being here with us. I know sure. it's, it's a hard and it's a busy time for yes, you. Yes, thank um, you. If you can take a look outside of our studios right now. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what engine that is? Is that? That's Oh, that's it. That's, that's engine that's nine. Oh. This is your husband's team. Oh, my God. They're coming in uh -uh. right now. Uh -uh. Yes, they are. They wanted to be here to hug your neck while you're in town, let you know how much that's they love so you. Sweet. And you said that is that's his family, yes, right? The guys yes. that ride he, on that truck. Yes, he loves them. He, I mean, it's killing him. <laughs> So you recognize and, those two yes. that are about to make it into our yes. studio. And you said their support. I mean, they're oh having a God. golf tournament coming up. Yes. They've got these uh, great shirts, yes. uh, Team Garth shirts uh, yes. that, that they've made for you. <laughs> I know that this is an emotional. It, it, it's emotional watching it play out, but we're going to scoot it. over so that they can come here with you. Oh, oh, look yeah. at here. <laughs> oh, y'all are so sweet. Oh, my How are gosh, you? I'm good. Yeah, Jay, come that nine to five job of yours have you absolutely stressed out what if i told you that simply laughing or maybe taking a deep breath could make all the difference in the world i feel like i need to take a deep breath after seeing you do that move shemaine that was awesome thank you well i had a little help from a trampoline <laughs> how come the trampoline wasn't in the photo well i kind of cropped it up <laughs> what can our viewers do I, I think so many of us feel so helpless we've seen uh, the images and then to hear from someone like you who uh, it has greatly impacted and will affect every moment of your of your life moving forward. What can we do as Americans to to show you your support to to let you guys know, you know how much you're loved and, and how much good still does exist out there in this world? Uh, I, I, I don't know what you can do uh, physically or financially, but uh, I, I'm sure Denise would uh, probably say you live life. You mentioned in the book that in terms of of where you were with hiring a Title IX coordinator that you really felt like the university was way ahead of the curve. Certainly the findings of fact did not find that Baylor was ahead of the curve in dealing with Title IX issues. Was the findings of fact wrong? I just have a different perspective. That you saw us standing, walking with Nick Cannon, and I tell you, it's really given Logan a sense of independence and freedom and just, mm -hmm. he's just, and he likes to shush me, but he's... We all know. do that to our moms. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. We have some more breaking news to get to right now. A Walmart spokesperson is just confirming to News 10 that a bomb threat has been made at the Sam's Club in the city of Harker Heights. Harker Heights police were apparently made aware of this threat uh, just about an hour ago at 1130 this morning. The building... The Sam's building in Harker Heights has now been evacuated. The store has been closed, and we do know that a canine unit has been called in, and police are inside checking out that building. Uh, police do remain on the scene. That is at the six, the, the address there is 600 West Central Texas Expressway. We don't know the details about uh, the threat, how it was made, was it a phone call or whatnot, but what we do know is that the Sam's Club in Harker Heights has been evacuated due to some sort of bomb threat, uh, and we will have continuing coverage both on the air and on kwtx.com. And they can tumble and jump and flip like no one else other than you, Sean, of course.
Today, the three-time national champs, the Baylor Acrobatics and Tumbling Team, is live in studio. This is KWTX News 10. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us today at noon. I'm Julie Hayes. You can't do that? It'd be more of a fall. Oh, not really? Like a, not, not a flip. Not even like a cartwheel? It's or like a, like a half flip. It's, <laughs> I, I am not. A roll? I'm, I'm, Folks looking to travel outside of the United States, you might need a passport, and you might want to... Well, actually, you will need a passport. <laughs> I read that wrong. <laughs> I don't want to give you wrong information. You're going to need a passport. <laughs> we begin this noon hour with the hunt for two men who robbed a convenience store early this morning at gunpoint. That robbery happened around 4 a.m. on Willow Springs Road in Colleen. It was at a 7-Eleven. Police say they got there within just a minute of being called, but the suspects were already gone. We're told two men walked into the store, then one pulled out a gun and started demanding cash. No one was hurt in that robbery. And one suspected robber did not get away this weekend. Waco police say they busted Roosevelt Davis Jr. Saturday morning. We also offer bar classes, B-A-R-R-E, and that is a... a <laughs> you're, not, you're not getting to have a drink. I know, way. although we have been asked that. They're like... <laughs> Merry Christmas! I love this. From El Paso to Houston and, of course, San Antonio, Texans braved the cold to get in on all the snow fun. About two and a half inches fell in the San Antonio area. The most recent major snowfall there was just over 13 inches, and that was in January of 1985. And humans are not the only ones getting in on all the snow fun. Check out this dog in San Antonio. Pretty sure that this was probably his first time seeing the snow. A major Maryland interstate is closed right now after a charter bus full of kids rolls and crashes early this morning. We know that 26 children were on board that bus and 25 people are injured. An adult and a child were flown from that scene. Uh, we're being told they are in critical condition. It happened on interstate 95 just north of Baltimore. Two charter buses were apparently stopped just down the road from the crash, but it is not clear if they were all traveling together. But again, several injuries reported, dozens of injuries, in fact. I will be keeping a close eye uh, on that bus crash in Maryland, let you know when we learn anything new. Scott and White was that insurance provider that has now changed uh, its mind and, and said that they were willing to go forward. So we're excited for you. We yes. love Little Faith. And Thank we're wishing, we're, we're keeping the faith too, and we're wishing you the very best, Leanne. Thank you so Thank much. You. Sure. Thank you for having us and thank you for covering our story and you've walked with us. You've, you've made a huge difference in our life and you've had a huge part in this and we thank you so much. I couldn't be uh, more honored to uh, call Little Faith my friend. Thank you, Leanne. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Oh, all right. Yeah, oh, yeah, just don't hurt me. Hey, good yeah. one. <laughs> hey, tell me what you love about it. Can you tell me? Um, you turn this way so they can see your pretty little face. <laughs> I think Baylor fans, I mean, to be quite frank, I think they got spoiled. You know, they they, they went from being upset that they weren't going to, you know, uh, make it past uh, just conference play, and then all of a sudden you win a Heisman, and then all of a sudden, you know, you're expecting more. You're mad when you're not ranked in the top five. All right, we are following some breaking news out of Dallas. That is where a shooting has just happened at a high-rise business there. Right now, we don't know a whole lot, but we do know that two people have been shot. Here is a live look from Dallas. Very few details, as I mentioned, have been released, but our CBS affiliate in Dallas says that one person has already been taken to the hospital. It apparently happened on the 10th floor of a building off of LBJ Freeway. This is a live look right here. Police and ambulances, you can see they were sent to the scene. Uh, it happened within the last hour. The whole building then started to be evacuated. Uh, there are some reports out of uh, very early reports of saying that sources on the inside of the building are saying uh, that it was possibly uh, a man who walked in and shot, or I should say a person who uh, walked in and shot their boss before turning the gun on themselves. That has not been confirmed. Uh, the details are just coming in as we speak. But again, this is a live look from Dallas where a shooting has happened just off the LBJ freeway at a high rise building there. And as soon as we learn more, we'll be letting you know both here on the air and on kwtx.com. Skycam 10 live over the Bell County Expo Center. Wow, it's beautiful out there. Get out and enjoy it. And it's Friday. Couldn't get better than that. Well, here comes here one. Come. <laughs> here comes one of Melissa. You can come up here, Natalie. Come here, sweetheart. Good I'm job. So Good job. I have me some chocolate. <laughs> can, did you hear what she said? Just can I have that bribery. piece of chocolate yes. now? I may or may not have bribed her. Yeah, you can. All right, thank you, Melissa. We hope to see you guys there at the Dillard's Mall 1 to 3 on May the 6th. And we'll be right back. <laughs> they're volunteering or, or whether they work or don't work or have kids or don't have kids we all find ourselves in this predicament just juggle juggle you know trying and you to know, figure it out i hope central texas appreciates what you do for the community because you do everything Aww. every day you're always busy you're always going you're always giving of your time so i hope everybody appreciates that